Hey guys, I'm back with another video today. Today we're going to do my June perfume tray. And I'm not going to be going over all of the tray for me. I'm only going to tell you guys about my standout fragrances that I enjoyed the most. So the first one that I really, really enjoyed was this Escada Magnetism. This is nothing like the Escadas you're used to hearing, the fruity summer ones. This is different. This is a little bit aromatic, a little bit creamy, a little bit powdery, a little bit fresh. There's a lot of good stuff going on in there. I don't really know how to describe it. It doesn't have like just one type of vibe. I've picked up on different things of it on the different occasions that I've worn it. So next is another tall one. This is Givenchy's Hot Couture. And this is so delicious. This is like sweet raspberries with a little bit of like a vanilla dry down and a little bit more depth. This kind of has a little bit of a bad reputation because some people said that it smells like an ashtray, like a cigarette smoke ashtray. I don't get that at all when you wear it. The projection in the sillage is more, you know, like a smoky raspberry. But I can see how if you sniff the spot where you sprayed it, you might get that. Anyways, this fragrance is very good. It's very alluring, sexy, and feminine. It's a fragrance that I like to wear maybe for like a dress-up occasion or a date night. And it's a very long-lasting fragrance. It is one of my all-time favorite fragrances and it doesn't cost very much. So next is one of my top five for life. So... I mean, of course, it's going to be on here. This is a little bit of a tart opening with some heavy rose and raspberry in the mid. And that's mostly what I get from it. That's what I love. With the cassis in there, I don't know if that's how you say cassis. But to me, it just makes it like intoxicating. This is a dress up fragrance. I, I wear this when I'm getting dressed up. I almost like, to me, it's not just like easy grab and go. I almost have to be in a certain mood for it, but when I'm in that mood for it, I literally love it. So this next one is one that I discovered that I love. This is Paris Hilton Can Can, and it's really good. It's like nice and fresh and creamy. There's something creamy about that I really enjoyed mixing this and like layering it with other fragrances. I had a few uh, like tart, fresh fragrances in my tray and I mixed this with all of them and I felt like it just went with all of them. It almost elevated them. This one does not smell like a cheap celebrity perfume to me. This is probably one of my top five favorite celebrity perfumes. So those were the four that stood out to me the most from this month. Now let's get into the ones that did not. Okay, so first of all, this is not the correct bottle. Um, the one that I had in my tray was Pink Sugar, just the regular one. The OG and I did declutter it I actually already gave it away and I just could not get over that licorice note to me it overpowered the whole thing it just took over and as much as I wanted to like work with it it's just me it's just what I picked up I got a little bit of like that sweetness but the licorice was overpowering and I couldn't tone it down I couldn't I couldn't like make the other notes come out and put the licorice away or put it in the background. It was so prominent to me and I already tried it in a couple different seasons. I tried it when it was cold and I tried it when it was warm. That licorice note just kept taking over and that's just, that's just my nose, I guess. So it didn't work for me personally. So the next is this one. I already had it in my declutter pile actually for a couple of weeks. Right after I wore it, I was like, oh, this is too light. I almost couldn't smell it. And then the weather got like really, really warm. And then all of a sudden now I can smell it a lot. So I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm not sure what's going to happen. But if I notice that this doesn't last long, it's already not very strong. So if it doesn't last long, like it's going to leave and it's going to be gone here soon. But if I notice that I like it and that it's, and that it's lasting a little bit, then I'm going to keep it. So this is like on the chopping block, but mainly on its way out. So I'm going to start off with Kenzo Elixir. This is a new one to me and it is raspberry syrupy, delicious, sexy. So I can't wait to wear this. I'm gonna wear this on either a chilly day. I know it's June, but here in Washington, it's still chilly sometimes some days it's been a little bit rainy or else I'll wear it like on a date night and this was so delicious I'm very excited to get some use out of this 
Don't judge me guys, but when I bought this, I literally bought two bottles. I don't want to talk about it. So next we're going with Stella McCartney Pop. This seems very like springtime to me, very fresh, floral, delicious. So I'm excited to try this. And just like I did last time, I'm going to do like the larger fragrances in the back. Next is Good Girl Legere. This is also from a recent haul and this smells very fresh. It smells a lot like the regular Carolina, the OG, but with added freshness and a little bit of like vanilla in the background. So I'm excited to try that. Another one from a recent haul. This was like love at first sniff for me. Literally love at like second sniff because at first I was trying to figure out what I was smelling. It almost felt like this smelled like me, like this could be my signature scent. It smells almost feminine and motherly and I just feel like I want to be, I want this scent to be associated with me so far from what I've smelled. So I'm super excited to wear this. Next we have Rachel So Warrior. This is a very patchouli dark fragrance. It smells very earthy, but still very good. A little bit of like gourmand nuances in there, but I mean like very minor. It's mostly just like strong patchouli, but it's so good. It's so good. I love patchouli and I love this fragrance. And this is actually just a body mist of it, but because it's so strong, I feel like that's all you need. I feel like I'm okay. I don't need the EDP. I was also inspired by India from Red Lips Talk to um, add some body mist in here, so I have that one. So next I'm going in with Green Tea by Elizabeth, Ar Elizabeth Arden. This is also a new to me fragrance. This is a classic, an oldie but a goodie. I really liked it and it seems like a springtime fragrance. To me, what I liked about this is the experience of spraying it. Like I love the scent that it gives off. I feel like I would want like household items to smell like this, but it does still smell like a perfume. So I enjoy spraying it. So I'm going to enjoy wearing this right now in the springtime. Next, I wanted to get one more use out of it before the weather gets too hot here. This is Mancera's Instant Crush. I love this. This is so intoxicating to me. This is sexy. This is unisex. It's not like super girly. It's deep. I feel like I would wear this for, na for date night, but also I want to try pairing this with like a brighter, juicier perfume and see how that goes. This fragrance is like beast mode. I'm thinking of doing like a beast, mo beast mode fragrance video and this would definitely be in that. Next we're going with Midnight Fantasy. This smells like fresh, clean, like maybe like a soap that's fruity flavor. Um, it smells a little bit reminiscent of the 90s in the best possible way. It smells fruity, delicious, and clean. And I just want to wear this like on a day when after getting out of the shower and just maybe when I'm home and just want to feel fresh and clean. Next is another patchouli fragrance. This is Extra Concentrated by Added Juice. This is a cheapy but a goodie. I really enjoy this. This to me smells like it could be a very expensive high-end perfume and I'm going to actually wear this like on date night or going out. I just want to see what the performance is like on this. So I'm excited to get some more out of this. The packaging is a little bit obnoxious. Next is another new to me fragrance. This is Ellie Saab Girl of Now Shine. And a lot of people say that this smells just like the original but with added pineapple. But honestly, I'm not picking up a lot of the pineapple. So that's why I wanted to give it a wear to see if I can pick it up. To me so far it almost smells almost smells exactly the same but i really want to try it and i probably also will wait for a little bit of a cooler day for this one next i'm going with chow by vince camuto this is like a newer favorite of mine this is a berry perfume and i just want to wear this next is ariana grande's cloud intense Cloud 2.0. This is, as you know, like a Baccarat Rouge dupe. This is a little bit more praline, I believe. It's a little bit sweeter. I think there's an added whipped cream note. I don't know if it's added or if it's just amped up, but it makes it a little bit like sweeter, maybe a little bit more youthful and easygoing. But I don't think I've gotten much wear out of this. I might have worn it once, if that, so I really need to wear this more. Nothing matches and it's bothering me. Next, we're going with Monpari Intensement by YSL. This smells like 
berries with a little bit of vanilla patchouli dry down. This is delicious and I want to test it out because I don't think I've worn this fragrance yet. And next is another berry one. I'm gonna have a few berries in here. This is Victoria's Secret Bombs Bombshell Passion. It has like, I smell like a strong cassis note in here and cassis, cassis, I don't know how to say that guys, but you mix that with berries and to me it's just incredibly delicious. I'm a little bit ashamed of this bottle because I thought that I would save like a few bucks and get the one with no cap, the tester bottle with no cap, and I totally regret it. It actually really bugs me. I almost want to reorder it and just like give this one away. Um, this is Calvin Klein Euphoria. I really like it. I think it smells really good, but I'm annoyed with myself that I didn't get the cap because now I just want to buy a cap. So the saving a few bucks did not work out for me. It really bugs me to not have the lid. Like I literally cannot get over it. So what I've done is I kind of just put this lid on it. This is the only thing I have. This is from a Juicy Couture fragrance that didn't work out for me. And I just do this because it bugs me if it doesn't have a lid. But this looks now like 10 times more ridiculous. So I'm still gonna wear this. I mean, I already have it and I paid for it. So I really enjoy this. I love this fragrance. It smells like a freshie, but with patchouli and more depth and pomegranate. It's so good. It's so good. I wanted this fragrance since like it first came out. I always had it like on a wish list, but never had the urgency to get it. And I'm talking like a long, long time ago, maybe over 10 years ago. But I'm glad I have it now. So I will definitely be enjoying this. Send help. Okay, I just had to rearrange everything because of that one perfume that one freaking football shaped perfume so this is another one that i really wanted to try this is kate spade new york as i told you guys before opinionated scents made me buy this so i just wanted to try this was her very favorite berry perfume so i really wanted to see um what this smells like and how it wears if it's good enough for her it's good enough for me i don't know how this is going to work we're just gonna pile them on top of each other next is mix bar blackberry tonic this is a very fruity blackberry perfume that i hauled not too long ago also just want to wear this i love berries so next is dkny be tempted i believe yes this is dkny be tempted it's one of those little apples it's kind of cool because this one has a little snake on it but it smells a lot more deep than the other ones it doesn't smell just like the usual apple ones there's a lot of depth to it i think there's some vanilla in there and this to me smells kind of sexy. This is like a sexy night out perfume, so that's when I might use it, <laughs> like if I ever go anywhere. But still, if I happen to go out to dinner or something, I'm gonna use this one. Good thing the next ones are very small. So next I have Si Passione. Passione. This is by Giorgio Armani. This is just a small one. I wanna say this is half an ounce. Um, I've been smelling it. I don't even think I've ever sprayed this before. I get a little bit of a creamy vibe to it, so I want to get some use out of this. Ideally, I would like to finish this up just to finish it up because I'm not a big fan of these little tiny bottles. I feel like they're not as aesthetically pleasing as a regular bottle, so this is going to be the deciding, fa the deciding factor if I get the full bottle or not. And then lastly, I have this Dapper Fragrances. Uh, this is a formulation of Louis Vuitton Attrape Rev. This perfume is so delicious. Obviously, I would prefer the original, but I wanted to try it by trying this, and it smells so good. If I ever feel like throwing a few hundred dollars away, I will definitely go and get the original, but for now, this is good enough for me. It smells very good. It smells just like a slightly more elevated, maybe like absolutely blooming by Dior. It's, it's good though. It's really good, but it's still like mass pleasing. It's not like some unique perfume. So I want to give this a try right now for this time of year. So there is my very, very cluttered perfume tray. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and also go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post other random stuff on there. On Instagram, I like to post my scent of the day a couple times a week. And then on TikTok, I post like TikTok-y stuff. <laughs>
So go follow me, guys. It's Creatrix Sense on TikTok and Instagram. See you guys. Bye.